Exe. I mean, it's my subconscious mind. I can do whatever I want. Oh boy, it's time to play my favorite of the Mario games, Super Mario Brothers 4. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's the long lost Mario game. Uh oh, uh oh. Error has a cord. Would you like to reset? No! No! I won't reset! I won't reset! Oh! Oh no, Lugi! Not like this, Lugi! Not like this! Uh oh! Oh god! Oh! I messed up big time! But it was all a dream. <gasps> oh, a dream. How do you explain that then? <laughs> oh no! It'll probably go away. <laughs> Mario! Probably one of the least scary things, uh, ever. His games are always so bright, colorful, and happy. They put a stupid smile on your face. They tuck you in at night. They make you breakfast the next morning. They're the whole package. I mean, you know, if your type is the middle-aged Italian plumber. But we're not here to talk about the authentic Mario experience. We're here for the schlock. For years now, it has been a personal quest of mine to find the holiest and spoopiest of artifacts. An actually scary fan game. There has been some pretty atmospheric games that have scratched the itch. Some games that actually provide some creepy moments. So today, we continue the hunt for some more creepy Mario games. Now, just like last time, there's kind of categories of games. You, of course, have EXE games, you have ROM hacks, and then you have everything else. Today, we'll mostly be focusing on EXE games and other weird games that I've found. And what kind of person would I be if we didn't hop straight into EXE games? Let's go! Alright, first up is Mario. Whoa, so very ominous. Alright, it's just like the first time playing Mario all over again. Well, except everything feels like I'm on ice. How am I supposed to be immersed in this? A game doesn't control like a Mario game, and I can't even get coins! Zero out of ten, no coins. No coins. Well, you can't get coins and you can't go down the pipes, but essentially the first level is the first level. The only difference being that there's a castle at the end. Oh man, the letters are backwards! The music is backwards and the sound effects are backwards too! We've stumbled into some sort of alternate reality! Oh, the upside down. Those kids from Stranger Things were right! There's probably a demigorgon right around the corner! Uh oh. Hey man, you lost? Wait, now I'm in a castle? How did I get here? Oh, it's spooky, alright. You get caught on pipes and you can even jump in the lava! I mean, the scariest thing about this one is that everything just feels so fake. It's upsetting to me. It's offensive. Mario is dead. Oh man, but I like him. Wait, wait. I mean, old Rob is dead. <gasps> wait, is there more? I'm not dead. Nice. I called dibs on Aussie too. Also, who is this for? Is this a game? Is this a religious experience? I mean, I definitely saw that really scary looking Mario. Oh, no, show him. Okay, well, maybe this one called Mario Time's Up will be the one that really saves the day. I mean, things are a little bit weird. All the Goombas came pre-squished. I think that's a uh, manufacturer defect. I'm gonna ask for my money back. Okay, I swear, this is like almost exactly the same. Oh, Red Stag, though! Why can't I get coins? Just let me live my life! Sorry, Mario, but you're too late! <coughs> I can't do toad voice. Okay, that's loud. That's loud. It's, uh, is anything gonna happen? Is anything gonna happen? All right, hold me. A little creepy. Why didn't you save me? Okay, yep, we get it. 
What are even most of these games? They lack any kind of atmosphere or subtlety. You know what really gets people scared? Getting into their heads, letting it sit. Being able to get the coins because that's what you do in fucking Mario. It's scary, guys. Do you get it? Do you get it? Three hours? Yeah, I ain't waiting around for that. Instead, most of these games just try to jump scare you, which isn't even really scary. Not to mention, a lot of them are incredibly dangerous. Like, you could probably get seizures from the obscene amount of flashing in them. Why? Why would you do this? Screw this, man. I'm gonna play Creepy Fighters. A uh, game about fighting with EXE characters. <laughs> Never mind, man. There's no winning. So is there going to be any EXE games actually worth playing, or are they all going to troll us? Good. No. No, good. No, it's good, man. I said it's good. Well, Mario wants me to be here. Don't not the planes. Let's just see what he wants. Maybe it's some spaghetti or something. Yeah. That sounds good. Oh, oh yeah, okay, so the one thing, the one thing that you get to do in EXE games, go to the right, you don't even get to do it! They take it away from you. It's like I'm on one of those flat escalators at the airport. Uh-oh, I bet we all know what's coming now. Also, I can't decide if this looks like a zero or a six. I'm gonna go with zero. Uh-oh, the music cut out. Well, well, well. Luigi, if it isn't you. Haha, <laughs> you know what they say, it's a me, a Luigi. Glad to see you here. How about a nice game of hide and seek? Uh oh! Oh no! Not this again! Run, Luigi! Run! Just get away from me! Get away! Get away! Finish him! What the? Fatality. Yep, you know, that sounds about right. I mean, I want to be that guy, but I think we're getting trolled a little bit. <laughs> Just getting trolled. Such a shame Luigi is not around. I really want to beat him up for his lunch money. Ah! No, not Yoshi too. He's an innocent. I refuse! This can't just be what life is like. There has to be some good EXE games out there. I want to feel like I have to decode Russian messages just to inevitably get trolled anyway. By the way, this one says, Okay, I go the best and then I ass. Okay, I will go better atomic ass. <laughs> atomic ass! <laughs> Google Translate never lets me down. Okay, Super Mario Bros. Except for you can't be Mario. Okay, so in this game you play as Luigi. As you'd expect, the game takes place on 1-1. Still can't get any of those coins, huh? Nothing much happens in the first level until you get to the very end. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing with that torch? <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Oops, I died. Okay, I definitely wasn't expecting that. I'll give you that. All you have to do to get past this part is run straight to the right, though. Run, Loogie! Run past all those spikes! Hello, Luigi. I want to play with you. Oh. Are you okay, Toad? Are you okay? This is not really what I was thinking it was gonna be at all. This section of the game is like an actual game! You actually have to platform and avoid these green mushrooms, cause otherwise... <coughs> Dead. 
Dang, that's dark. I mean, I don't think I ever expected to see Luigi coughing up blood, hunching over, and then dying. This section is actually way harder than it looks. I died so many times. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad, though. I kid you not, it took me like 20 minutes to get past this part, and then finally... I did it! Oh, jeez! Oh, slam on that F-button, Luigi! Slam it! Get him! Get zombie Toad! That was so anime. Well, we're finally on the next level, and now we have to read all these messages on the wall. This entire section of the game is based entirely on platforming, and if you fall... You go back. Ah, oh, it's a picture of a devil telling me to go right here. All right, fine. Oh, he's telling the truth. Well, if I learned anything, it's to follow the guidance of these things. What? The devil lied? All right, well, I'm finally at the end, but it's just telling me to go back. Uh-oh. <laughs> If you don't jump over him, he gets you, by the way. The last level's exactly what you'd expect. It's like satanic symbols. It's scary. Oh, hey. I'll just go. Until you get to the end and this red mist kind of comes over the screen and you have to go back. Really, man? Come on. What? That's the end? And it was so promising. Well, I mean, at least things were happening that don't happen in other games. I mean, you gotta give it credit for that. The ending screen just kind of leaves you with this message. Time for our trusty friend, Google Translate. Maybe we can go to hell not for what you did. Maybe we can go to hell and you don't recognize it. Case forever will not come to an end. <laughs> just like mom used to say. Well, enough of the EXE games for a little bit, at least. I think it's time that we took a look at some of the other games that are out there. How about Mario's Dream Halloween Horror Show? Oh, snap! Yeah! It's got a really good beat! Mario's Dream is a first-person survival game. The first thing that you'll probably notice is that the game looks like it was done in paint. But it still has charm in its own way. You use the mouse to click these arrows on the side to explore in different directions and navigate the levels. The objective varies based on what part of the level you're on, but the main thing is survival. <laughs> You'll immediately be able to see influences from a bunch of horror games, but primarily Five Nights at Freddy's. You have to manage a few different mechanics to survive each level. You have an exposure bar which goes up if you spend too much time on screen with any of the enemies. You have a flashlight that keeps you safe and needs to be charged in specific locations. And you can't stay in one area for too long otherwise. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is exactly what happened to Jimi Hendrix! So, you have to memorize the layouts of each of the levels, never spend too much time in one place, and sometimes search the area for keys I and other you. oddities, and survive. It's not too difficult, but sometimes you get royally shafted by RNG, especially in the second stage, and if you get too much bad luck in a row, it's game over. The best part, though, are, of course, the cutscenes. <laughs> The horror. Let's -a go. It's a masterpiece. Once you know what you're supposed to be doing in the levels, you can blast through pretty quickly. Oh man, this is really intense. Look at this music, man. Hey, we're out of there. Congratulations. Nice. What a great story. Mamma mia. Yeah, that's it. Wait, so the end of the game, you have to survive, but you have a shotgun, and you blow away Shadow Mario anytime he pops up. 
Yeah, that'll teach you. Oh, we're almost there now. Just a few more seconds. Yes. Yup, it's no! just another dream. Oh, no! I mean, I should have expected this. It's called Mario's Mario. Nightmare. Luigi. Now this is gonna sound a little weird, but there's actually some 3D games out there too. Games like Mario's Nightmare! Wait, Arthur fan, wait, Arthur? Like this Yay. Arthur? Oh my god, this is just a reskin of that Arthur's Nightmare game! All you do in this game is run around the house and look for mushrooms in all the drawers and cupboards and avoid Mario. If you run into Mario, it's game over. <laughs> What kind of noise is that? Every subsequent level in the game adds more mechanics that you have to manage. Like this toad guy, he basically forces you to keep moving, whereas Peach will follow you wherever you go. I mean, it can be a little unnerving to run into something when you're least expecting it, but honestly, the game is just a little too random for me. You'll often find yourself looking at the tracker to pinpoint where Mario and crew are at, but it doesn't really help you that much. It's really not that useful because by the time you close the dang thing and move on to the next room, you're dead! Once you're on that last level, oh man, does it really become about RNG. You cannot stop moving, so you basically just have to get lucky. Oh man, we're actually getting really close. I'm almost gonna win this thing, baby. Let's go! Alright, just keep cool. Just keep cool and keep moving. Okay, just gonna check where they're at and let's go. No! Oh, come on! I'm done with this. How about this one called Mario's As- Wait, Angelo's Asylum? Oh man, don't tell me that this is another reskin. Oh man, it's so creepy, guys. There's pictures on the wall and the flashlight literally blinds you! I committed tax fraud. I committed tax fraud. I committed tax fraud. I committed tax fraud. Hello! I think I pressed uh, the wrong button here! Uh, yep, just gonna run away! Just gonna run away! Oh, oh, Bowser! No, no! No, no! Cool. Okay, there's gotta be at least one good 3D game, right? Nope, nope, not doing this again. Get that thing out of here. Okay, Super Mario 64, but different. This game has you going through some familiar places, but everything seems a bit off. Is that Koopa smushing that Goomba? The game basically has you going through the first few levels of Super Mario 64. Obviously, a lot of stuff has changed though. What's even weirder is that there's actually two versions of this game, one that's completely in first person and another that has you in third person. For some segments, at least. So, in the first level, at least, you get to the top of Bomb on Battlefield. Mario, you took something I love. Aw, oh, man, I think it's referencing the first version I played. Hey, it forces you to do that. Now it's time for you to learn what it feels like. You will lose something that is very precious to you. What? Break his arms? All right, well, you heard the man. Sorry, Luigi. <coughs> Why? Why am I doing this? <coughs> Lugi dead. Uh, so I guess you eventually just wake up in Mario's bedroom and you get a letter from Peach. And she's basically telling you to come over to the castle. I got something better than cake for you. Ah, that's not cake! Well, I guess it's back to Bomb Mom Battlefield for me. So now we're back in Bomb Mom Battlefield, and I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing, but you get to the top and find King Bomb Mom. But not before having to sneak past the chain shop. Don't let him see you. Now I'm just Terminator 2 and King Bomb Mom. He probably deserved this. The one good thing going for this game is that the atmosphere actually seems pretty on point. 
but there really isn't a whole lot that you actually do besides walk around until you get to the next level. Once you get inside Cool Cool Mountain, there's actually some hidden stuff going on. In the first version of the game, you could follow this blue coin trail that led you straight down to the penguin. But that'll just net you one of those dark stars. We don't want one of those. We want a juicy gold one. So basically, that means we gotta find all the red coins in the level. That'll give us the star we're looking for. Then we can actually go to Womp's Fortress. Oh, uh oh. Huh? Nice, Mr. Womp. Just gonna move real slow, like. Okay. Well, it's a troll game. Gosh dang it. Nope, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, right, the portal, though. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like these, and go ahead and watch the other videos on this topic if you haven't seen them yet. Links will be on the splash screen at the end here. If you check the description down below, there's links to all kinds of stuff. You can follow my social medias like Twitter and Instagram. I got a Twitch channel as well if you want to catch me streaming. There's also a Patreon link if you want to see your name here at the end of the credits. And if you just can't wait for more videos, there's two more videos for you right there. Alright, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and happy Halloween.